Hello everyone and welcome to another video tutorial. My name is Ken, also known as Wiltshire, and today I'll be showing you guys how to change your Windows 7 Start Orb. However, before I get into the tutorial, just keep in mind that this does not work with Windows Vista. With that said, let's now hop over to my PC and I'm going to show you guys how it's done. Alright, so the first thing that you want to do is you want to go into the description below and download the Windows 7 Start Orb Changer. Now, once you have the Orb Changer downloaded, you want to run it as administrator. If you do not run the Orb Changer as administrator, you will not be able to change your Windows 7 Start Orb. So, as you can see in the bottom left-hand corner, I've already changed my Windows 7 Start Orb to something different. As you can see, it glows a little bit different and it looks a little bit different. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change my Windows 7 Start Orb to another one, just to give you guys an example of what others look like. So, I'm going to hit the Change button on the Windows 7 Start Orb Changer. And I'm going to select another Windows 7 Start Orb. And your computer will flash as if you logged onto your computer. And we'll be greeted with a success message saying that the start orb has been changed successfully. And if you go back to the left hand corner of my screen, you can see that my Windows 7 start orb has now changed to something different. And I actually quite like this one. I might keep this one. But if at any point you don't like any of the Windows 7 start orbs that you've enabled on your computer, you can hit the restore button and this will bring you back to the original Windows 7 start orb. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video tutorial. If you guys liked it, make sure you hit that like button below and that subscribe button above. And I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. And remember, if it's easy to follow, it's easy to learn. Thanks so much for watching the video, guys. These are two videos you may have missed in the past. The first video is how to get the best quality from your Dazzle Capture Card using Virtual Dub. And the other is the Sony PlayStation Vita unboxing. On the right is a random video that I have randomly selected. And there's a subscribe button below if you guys feel like subscribing. And I'll see you guys later.